All right, everyone, don't panic. Everything is going to be okay. I'm obviously making light of what is a much more serious issue, and coronavirus is definitely having an impact on motorsport. Oh, and by the way, before we get comments and we get messages, uh, these are the last rolls of toilet paper that we have. I rated them all to put them here on the shelf. The hand sanitizer and the spray, we've had that for months and months and months. That's nothing new, and it's something that we actually use in our business quite a bit. For anybody says, why have you got a gas mask? It's not, it's actually my, uh, my own spray mask that I use uh, when spray painting, um, and these things are readily available. Please don't try this at home, and don't rush out and go and flood the uh, paint supplies and uh, auto parts stores buying these things out to protect yourself. Uh, one thing I will say is the government at this age is saying that uh, masks are not required for those people that are, are fit and healthy and uh, don't show symptoms of the virus. So where does that leave rallying in all of this? Obviously 2020 was the start of a new decade and it wasn't very long ago that I did a video on the new decade and the calendar and how things were going to pan out. So uh, to be only three months in, and uh, telling a bit of a different story, well, that's something that nobody could have predicted, certainly not me. If we look at the world stage of rallying, the WRC, it has had significant impacts already. The first couple of rounds have run without dramas, and Mexico was only a very short time ago, and that ran. However, uh, future events from then on, it's looking shady, and I know that they've certainly cancelled the next one. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out for the year. Well, as so far, What's happened is in the Australian Rally Championship, the round, the first round, which was the National Capital Rally, and the second round, the Forest Rally, have now both been announced as postponed. And yes, the impact of postponing WA's largest rally is going to have serious knock-on effects, both to the ARC and the WARC. From our point of view, we were planning to take a team of several cars and run in that event in April. Things were booked and uh, confirmed already, and now that all has to be put on the shelf, so to speak, until such time as the announcement's made on when the rally can run again. Showing how rapidly things can develop, I was literally editing this video and not far away from uploading it uh, when the announcement came through that round one of the State Rally Championship, uh, which was the rally sprint at Bakers Hill, uh, is now postponed. So that means the first two rounds of the State Rally Championship, uh, same as the ARC, um, have been postponed. Apart from rallying at the national and state level, what's going on at a local level? Well, there are some car clubs already that have announced that they won't be running any more events until further notice. So what's the short answer to this? Well, the reality is that nobody really knows. We don't know how long it's going to take for this to plateau. We don't know what is going to be involved, and we certainly don't know what the impact is both to the financial sector and to motorsport as a whole. It could well be that the whole year for almost all motorsport is completely written off, or it could be that this goes on for only a couple of weeks or a few weeks and everything will be back business as usual, which of course is everyone's hope. Regardless of what's going on, rest assured that the motorsport authorities and the organisers of all these different types of events are looking very closely at the situation and monitoring it all to see what they can do to actually continue motorsport throughout the year. Also, I'd suggest shortcut uh, social media and the media in general as far as getting information on the coronavirus and go directly to the source. So that is, read the government websites and health department where you can get up-to-date information which is actually accurate on what's going on. And please, Follow the guidelines that are set out by the government at the moment in terms of social distancing and precautions that need to be taken because the sooner that we can get through this, the sooner we can get on with our motorsport. Thanks very much for watching this short video. Please like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.